Okay, so for those of you that are interested in figuring out how to put your Sims documents folder on the same drive that you installed your Sims 3 on, uh, this video might help you out. First of all, you're going to need a program and I'll leave the link down below. It's called Link Shells Extension. So you're going to need to download that first and then come back here and we will get your Sims documents onto your same drive your Sims game is installed on without messing up your folder system on your computer. So after you have that installed, sorry I talk with my mouse, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna have, come into your, go into your drive. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the drive that your Sims game is downloaded on. And I installed my game through Origin. Um, Maybe you installed your game through Steam, it doesn't really matter uh, because this is um, what your, you know, people that want to have their game on a different drive because they have more room or they ran out of space on their other drive. I have a lot of drives here, probably too many, I'm not sure, but I just installed this uh, one terabyte SSD and this is where um, I want to put all my games. So my issue was when I installed my Sims game and uh, put it on this drive, um, I soon figured out that, uh, yeah, I could play the game, but it wouldn't, I couldn't go back into the game and play my save game or anything because my, my Sims documents folder was on my C drive. <laughs> and I searched and searched for um, a way to figure this out like if Origin is saying you can install your game on whatever drive you want but there's no like explanation of um, well no choice or option of putting your documents folder there too so that to me that doesn't really make sense I'm probably missing something within Origin that I don't know or I don't know, but I noticed a lot of people have this problem. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, you want to, first thing you want to do is download this little program that helps you uh, put your Sims documents onto your same drive. And uh, what it is essentially is called uh, a junction or a symbolic link. Now there is a way you can do it manually within Windows because um, it allows you to do that. Um, well, I tried to watch numerous different tutorials on how to do that and I it just confused me more. <laughs> but luckily um, I found a way and like I said it's that little program. So what you want to do is you want to go into your drive and you want to create a folder and you can call it whatever you want. I called mine The Sims Docs. Um, you can call it whatever you want as long as you know that that's where you want your Sims document folder to be. Then you go see this is where the game I do have Steam here but anyways this is where my um, Sims 3 game is installed in this folder here. So this is the installer folder. Um, this is different than the documents folder. Okay, um, I don't want to go off on that and confuse you. Hopefully I already haven't. So, okay, so we've created this folder here and what we're going to do is go back into the where the original folder is. So the local um, usually gets installed in the under the C drive in, I believe, was it program? Uh, 
or oh wait a second I'll just go into uh, it here it will, on the sidebar the documents this PC documents so um, not sure where this folder is on the C drive am I is it here origin no anyways it's in your documents folder <laughs> on your <laughs> on your PC um, so then you go into electronic arts and this is a folder you want to right click or left click it and copy and I've already done all this so I'm, not, I'm just showing you an example of how to do it um, then you go back into uh, your folder that you just created on your other drive go in and then you want to copy or paste that folder into here and so there it is so then the, what you want to do is a little bit of back and forth so go back to that folder where you were I keep going into that drive I don't mean to so documents wherever your documents folder is on your PC okay so uh, so what you want to do is once you've finished uh, copying the original folder into your new folder and that's all done you want to go back to your original folder and that's where I was oh no back here okay so and then you want to delete the sims you want to delete this folder okay um, and hopefully I haven't lost you guys but I might have to repeat these steps um, I, I'm just trying to remember them as I'm going along so okay so what we're gonna do after we delete this is we're gonna go back into your new folder we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna pick link source here okay and then you're gonna go back to the original one electronic arts here and you're gonna right click on this one again and you're gonna go there's gonna be an option here after you've done that it's gonna say drop as and because I've already done that this option isn't here but it will be here once you've done that and it'll say drop as and then you're gonna click Junction and then that's it that's all you have to do it's done so then you should be able to go into your game and the game will recognize your new folder as the original folder so it's basically mirrored um, and you should be able to play your game all right then so I'm just gonna go back and do those steps quickly again okay so what you want to do is go to the drive that your game is installed on you're gonna create a new folder call it whatever you want then you're gonna go back to your original sims document folder in electronic arts you're gonna copy this folder you're gonna go back into your new folder you're gonna paste it wait for it to copy then you're gonna go back to your original one and you're gonna delete the original one then you're gonna go back to your new one right click on it and click on pick link source right there then you're gonna go back to your original folder and you're gonna click right right click it again and there will be an option uh, to, that says um, choose uh, drop as and then choose junction and you're done and then you'll have this little uh, icon link there to show that it was done then you just go go into your game and see if it works um, and that's it for this video and hopefully uh, that helps you guys um, 
and your struggle is over. 